Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to start looking at doing batch plots or prints in AutoCAD. So I'm going to open up an example, set of drawings. Um, okay, so the first thing, the first thing you need to do when using or wanting to botch, uh, batch print a series of drawings. First thing you need to do is go to any of your sheets, right click, and you need to create a page setup. Go to Page Setup Manager and you need to create a new set. So I'm going to call this A1. I'm going to replace it. A yes. Now, in AutoCAD, just use the DWG to PDF printer. Very important. Set your sheet size. They all have to be the same sheet. If you want them to vary, you'll have to change, you'll have to make an A2 or an A0 sheet, depending. But the process is the same. You set up an A1, A2, A3, and you need to save the set. Here, depending on how you're using your plot styles, but I think you're going to do that in your viewport, so that should be set up already. So here, you're just literally going to say, I'm just going to use monochrome for now, just so you can um, see the results. Just remember, set your scale one to one. Okay. And it will warn you if there's any errors. So I'm just going to press OK. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is press close. Now, on each one of your sheets, you need to make sure that it's using the correct page setup manager. Right click, page setup manager, and you need to go to your A1 and double click. Okay, close. It will reset the view. And here you'll see straight away if there's any errors. Do that for a series of sheets. Make sure that they're all ones. Page setup manager. Here I'm just going to A1. Close. Okay, and it'll, it'll give it a prefix saying that it's um, an A1 sheet, for example. Okay. So we go to this sheet as well. Okay, but I'm going to use these first three sheets as an example. Okay, and make sure no other drawings are open during this process. Once you've set up your sheets, all that you need to do now is you need to go to the Output tab. So on Home, you're going to go to Output. You're going to go to Batch Plot. Okay, so this will combine these individual sheets into one. You can see here are all the... So you need to go through here and you need to go and change a series of things. So here... You're just going to go and say plot a name of page setup. So that's all I'm going to use. But you can change them all to PDF. You can use this PDF function. And here you're going to say PDF present DWG to PDF. Okay. Then you're going to go and deselect the items that don't need to be batch plot and remove it from the batch plotting. Here you can add, here you can add uh, all different types of views. Okay. So here you can change the order in which they print. You can go and add, you just need to keep selecting, including here you just want layout, select the, the, the drawing that you want. To, uh, so you can actually, you don't even have to open up the drawing. But I like it open, and you can see here are the sheets that I want to print on A1. These four sheets over here. Okay, so I don't want those to print either, so I can minus those from the batch. You can save these settings as well. So you can actually give us a name, you can save it, and it'll ask you, Okay, so you can actually save these batch plot settings. Okay, now this is crucial. You can either use the A1 setup that you've used already, or you can just say default A1. So if you've preset this up on each one of your, your um, sheets here, or you can force it to use A1. Okay, here I'm going to use these four sheets. Okay, now in publish options, you need to say multiple sheet file, meaning it'll combine all of these sheets into one file, which is desirable. Now you're going to also pick a location where it needs to print. I'm going to change it to my desktop. I'm going to say select desktop. And you don't have to do anything else here. Merge control here is just asking you what to do. Don't worry about that for now. You can leave everything as is. The most important one is you want this to... Um, so here you can give it a house name or it'll prompt you to give it a name. That's totally up to you. But here I'm just going to say multi-sheet file. Press OK. And with all of these options selected, I'm just going to say publish. Okay. Here it's asking me where do I want to save it. I'm going to save this on my desktop just like that. And I'm going to say no for now. I'm going to say publish. Okay. Once you press publish, you press close. It's just telling you that it's processing it in the background. So if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see that it's, it's, it's processing job. You can carry on working, doing what you need to do. Okay. You can even close this file. I would recommend leaving this open until it tells you um, that job's been processed. 
Okay, so you just give it a couple seconds here. It's still telling you it's processing this. Okay, and then once it's processed, I'll show you what the outcome is on um, on my desktop. Okay, this does take a minute or so for this to um, fully publish these sets of drawings. Okay, so in AutoCAD, it told me the job had been completed and no errors were found. Okay, now let's just have a look and see what this file looks like. Now, if you open this up, you'll notice that each one will have been its own sheet and everything will be printed correctly. Okay, so here you can clearly see that this has worked really well. Okay, so now you can go through all the different views. Okay, the line weights are not great in this drawing, but that's something that I just need to address from our side. But you can see now I've got a complete set of drawings in one file. Okay.